Greetings, Dragon Atheist. Your questions are stupid and you are retarded. Just kidding. Just wanted to see if you were as good as your word or whatever that saying is. As for my answers, now for anyone watching this, go watch Dragon Atheist video first because I'm not going to be, you know, reiterating the questions. I'm just going to be answering. The first... I would... I would say that... In spite of the rage of having been oppressed in that situation with women and children as prisoners, I would go for, you know, the Nelson Mandela kind of solution, try to find a way to you know, live peacefully together to to not hate the other side. I know, terribly pacifist answer. The rest of them are going to be as well. The second one, I guess what the soldier did was something along the lines of either like just reflex or he was afraid that this potential weapon would fall into enemy hands. I don't know. You didn't really specify if the enemy knows that it is dangerous to touch the outer casing. If they don't know, I would say he should have just let it drop, because it doesn't matter that much. I don't know, I guess it could also explode from having dropped. I I don't know, overall I don't think I would be too harsh on him. It worked out okay, just... You know, maybe something along the lines of don't do that again, or there won't be a third time. And I think I would try to make sure that it doesn't have a chance of moving on its own again. S strap it in onto the truck or something. That takes us to number three. which I've forgotten, which was. One moment. Okay, so the third one is about the rape of the 13-year-old daughter. Again, my answer is going to be terribly pacifist, but... Maybe I should start by saying I would make sure that my daughter got as much help as she could, as much space and time, just make sure that she get all the tools that I could provide to help her work through the trauma. As for the guy, it depends on how he's reacting to, you know, if it was like, if he feels bad, if he regrets it. I think I would try to have him prosecuted, and if my daughter was in, you know, it might not be any time soon after, it might be years later, but if she got to the point where it seemed like it would help her to confront him, then I would try to make sure to arrange that. If he didn't feel any kind of regret, if he didn't express any kind of regret, I would press charges and try to make sure, 
legally, through legal means, that he got a harsh punishment. So, number four. I'm not a parent, but I don't know. It's my philosophy that children will seek out boundaries if you don't set them. So, the cursing is a response to that there are these boundaries. I wouldn't back down. I wouldn't change the boundaries. So I guess it's whether or not I would punish my child for cursing. Yeah, I suppose something minor, minor punishment for the cursing. Yeah, un unless it occurred to me that he might be right, if I, on second thought, realized that maybe I was too harsh, then I think I would re reconsider the boundaries I had set, and then, you know, let him know about the new ones once I had decided. So, the fifth and last one, you specified the taxpayers, and I suppose I have to follow that specific detail. I would go for the, the sacrifice of some in order to improve the quality of life of the rest. I don't think that all life is worth living, and if you had left it up to me, I would have said, I would have tried to choose the ones that I felt were the ones with the best future ahead of them. I don't know, maybe that sounds very cynical, but yeah, that those are my answers, so bye.